Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. I'm Rachel Edge. And we don't really have topics for this episode. We decided to kind of wing it and yep. like have like mystery topics and whatnot. It's, it's, it's going to be a fun one. Yeah, our topic is no topics. Topic is well, no topic. Exactly. I mean, we, we, we have, have topics. Yeah, but there's no. Yeah, nothing set. We're, yeah. we're that professional. We're, we're going. We're going real. <laughs> we're going rogue. Disorganized. Yeah, we're we're getting in <laughs> to the weeds. Media minute, on purpose. Media minute rogue. Um, actually, <laughs> I got a few things to talk about in terms of uh, media. That's new hey, media that's check, coming what's up. out. Uh, I watched Sweet Tooth. Uh, oh, you this did. Week. Yeah, nice. nice. I enjoyed it. Um, fun fact about that: Canadian Connection, the writer yeah. of the original comic, was from Essex, Ontario. And what up, Ontario? I, yep. And the uh, graphic novel is set in Essex County, somewhere in the States. I forget where specifically, but he tied that in. But, yeah, I enjoyed it. I uh, binged the series in, like, one day and yes. looking forward to what they do next. It's kind of a kind of a dark story. It, it kind of – the previews kind of really didn't do it justice. The previews right. kind of – Felt like oh, it's an uplifting story about a boy who it kind yeah, of looks like a deer. They're learning to be himself. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's more like uh, yeah, they're they're doing bad stuff to these kids. Also, the world is like devolved into like everybody died from a virus. This sounds right up my alley. Yeah. No. Um, I mean, I read the book. Well, not all of it, but yeah. It's, it, I I guess I haven't seen the show, so I don't know how true to the. Source material. Is, I've but... uh, I read the synopsis for the graphic novel. There are some differences, I think, uh, with some of the characters and stuff. But I, from yeah, what I could tell, it stayed pretty true. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Definitely recommend that one. Uh, also, something I'll watch this week is Loki. Loki. Yep. Nice. And yeah. uh, Rachel was very surprised about a certain actor. She didn't realize that was in it. Owen Wilson? Owen Wilson. Well, wow. Yeah, that blew my mind. <laughs> He does a great job like, with it. Um, I love the aesthetic of it. They went for yeah. like this 1970s like bureaucracy thing. So everything's mm-hmm. kind of that like ugly 70s orange, kind of like the color <laughs> of your headphones. Uh, but yeah, like everything has like this weak, with this weird, unique aesthetic that you don't see a lot of. There's a lot of shag carpet. A lot of, <laughs> kind of that feeling. I, I don't know if there's any actual shag carpet, oh, but yeah. That's too bad. But it's that style. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I said something like wood paneling in there nice. on like a That'd station wagon or something. But, uh, or just wallpaper that looks like wood. Yes. I had that. <laughs> <laughs> Every piece of I furniture has thing. like brown flowers on it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, I still have that actually. Uh, yeah. Everybody had that couch back in the day. Uh, yeah, but I enjoyed the first episode. Yeah. Um, okay. so, so I re- recommend it so far. Uh, okay. Also... A uh, trailer dropped this week for Masters yeah, of the Universe. Yeah, it did. Bonnie oh, Tyler's right. Need a Hero with it. Yeah. It was, that was like, normally, like, I, that would have been cheesy, but it, it just worked. worked. It worked so well. So well. Um, it did. The animation team is the same guys who did the Castlevania. Um, yeah, nice. Netflix, so, like, it looks really clean and everything, but. But. Oh, there's a but. Look out. There, there are cons- some concerns. If you notice, it's not called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. It's called... Isn't it? Ma- no, it's just called Masters of the Universe Revelation. So there's rumors going yeah, around. So there's been some leaks that uh, He-Man might only be in like the first uh, couple of episodes. What? Yeah. And they're hmm. going to focus on some other characters. I, I know. What other characters what? are there, though? The, well, there's like, the Masters of the <laughs> Universe. Yeah, there's t- there's a ton no, of characters. But I, but Fisto. <laughs> no, but I mean, like in the sense of like when you yeah. when you think of like He Man and the Master of the Universe, right? It's like obviously you think of He Man and Skeletor. Like you don't really yeah. think of the other guys. There were so some, I don't know. I'm, there's like I'm Man curious, at Arms. But I'm also like, hmm. Yeah, Man at Arms. Yeah, yeah. his daughter. I can't remember her name. Oh, there's yeah, Tila. There's a ton of characters. There there's some rumors saying that the most of the show is going to focus on Tila. Which see for me to watch like He Man, I want to watch the muscly man punch the skeleton man. Yeah, that's all I'm asking exactly. for. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. We're here to watch the muscly man punch the skeleton man. Oh man, is it? <sighs> <laughs> so we'll we'll see. Kevin Smith is directing. I saw something about that. I, yeah. I guess he got. I I I haven't 
really looked into it, but I've seen some headlines. Yeah. Where apparently he got busted lying about some stuff. Uh, yeah, he apparently claimed he was this big He-Man fan. And then someone found a tweet saying that, hey, there's this art gallery. I'm not really a He-Man fan, but make sure you check it out. That came out like 10 years ago. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens so with He-Man's that. He-Man's not going to have He-Man in it for, potentially, I P- pot- Like, we, we don't know for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so is ba- it a series or is it a movie? I think it's a series. Okay. I think it's a series. I think, yeah, it looked like it was more of, yeah. like, basing itself off a series the versus, ro- like, the rumor doing a whole is, movie like, for there's it. There's going to be, like, this massive battle at the start, and then He-Man loses his sword. Oh, they're going to kill him off. And like well, first, well, first episode. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they'll kill him off, but uh, yeah. Um, they, they think they're gonna, there's going to be like a time jump in there. And then. I really hope it's good. I do, I do too. Like, based on the trailer, like, if they just get more of that. Like I said, I just yeah. want to see Muscly Man. Yeah, just, just kicking the b- punch crap out of Yeah, stuff. punch Skeletor. That's, that's all I'm asking for. I noticed in the trailer too, like, they had like uh, He Man, like, catches like this big. Uh, there was like an old toy that it was like a car with like a boulder th- arm on it, and he catches I think I that. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. There, there was some like really, really. I think I had that actually. Yeah, <laughs> some really weird toys. Uh, like back in the '80s cartoon, like they would try to get in like these toy accessories into some of the episodes. And there's like a vehicle. It's like a dragon that moves so far, and then it flips, and then it mo- it's completely ridiculous. Like, I remember uh, I had the uh, the castle. And it came with like a rubber rubber glove. Oh yeah, that was like a dragon. Yeah. So you could you could poke you put your hand in the this dragon glove. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a puppet, I guess. And it, it would pop through the the front of the castle. Castle Grey Skull. Yeah. Eighties toys, man. They they were the best. They really uh, were, and they still are. Yep. For sure. For sure. I'd, you so, know, if this is good, you know, I might pick up like a couple myself. Like, if, yeah. Why not? Yeah. You know, su- support the stuff that Amazon exists. eBay exists. Yeah. But I just really hope I, politics. Every, doesn't, but everybody's identity politics isn't. That ruin seems this. to be the consensus: is that the trailer was really good, uh, but but we have to see what comes out for the actual show. Okay, so stay tuned. I suppose stay, stay tuned on that one for sure, for sure. Because uh, yeah, like you're right, the trailer looks sweet. The trailer was fantastic. Like I said, the mu- combination of the music and the animation. Yeah, sing it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing, but I'm st- uh, no. I need a hero. There, <laughs> there you go. That's my audition. <laughs> there you go. Simon Ra- Cowell, eat your heart out. Yeah. Rachel's What's like, up? all this stuff came out before I was born. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee. <laughs> yep. Well, I wouldn't say I don't, I don't care, but I just can't really contribute to the conversation. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. All right. Well, I have, so, you know, you know, I'm a fan of Bruce Campbell. Yes. Well, I mean, yes. That, that's been established. Who isn't? As am I. Uh, uh, there <laughs> is a documentary coming out called Hail to the Deadites. Nice. And it's nice. Uh, kind of a, looks like to be an exploration of kind of the fans of the Evil Dead series. Oh, okay. So, cool. Oh, cool. You know, the kind of the fan base for it. That's not the only uh, Evil Dead news I have, though. Oh, uh, Beep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, E3 is going on, and they announced an Evil Dead video game. You get to I'm so for that. What, yeah. What kind of game? Though? Is it like a, I uh, have you ever seen like the like Dead by Daylight or games like that where there's like four players and then like a killer? Uh, I can't say I have. Yeah. Uh, well, basically, you either play like characters from like Evil Dead, like Ash, and mm-hmm. uh, or you can be the demon and possess people. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Seems to be like a four versus one multiplayer thing. I think it's kind of cool. cool that they give you that option, though. Like, I think that's like a that's such a fun idea to like kind of contribute to like the video game. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, it's cool playing the good guy, but like, what if you want to play the bad guy? There, there's been a couple games like that that's come out. Yeah. It's like, uh, and I think some of them, like, you actually you get to play like Jason, you get to play like Pyramid Head, uh, like if you're playing that's cool. the, if you're playing the monster, and then there's like four survivors that you have to hunt down. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Um. It sounds really cool. Yeah. So shout out to Bruce Campbell. He's yeah. still working. He's and killing also it. They're, they're Absolute st- legend. Yep. They are still working on a new Evil Dead series as well or movie. So see what happens cool. with that. And uh, another thing that came out, um, I think I mentioned this before kind of when it was in production, but uh, R.L. Stein's Fear Street is coming to Netflix. Mm-hmm. 
weird. I'm so yeah, excited. It's very 90s. I watched the trailer for it, and uh, like the books take place in the 90s, so that's where they establish it. Uh, I, just, I don't know why, but that reminded me of the. Uh, apparently, people aren't too happy about the new Resident Evil that's coming out on Netflix. Yeah, um, they they changed up Wesker. Yeah, yeah, that uh, didn't impress a lot of people. The cast, a, lo- a lot of the comments I saw was like, "This is worse than a CW." S- same thing happened for uh, Neil Gaiman Sandman. Yeah, whatever happened to that? Yeah, uh, yeah. they changed the character, uh, the actor for Death. It's not kind of true to the comic book. But, uh, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really care, but it's obvious when it's obvious. Yeah. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, like, but, so hopefully it's good. Yeah. Because the lead actor, I can't remember his name. He was in John Wick. Lance something? Is it Lance? Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's but, awesome. He was in uh, The Wire, too. I think that's everyone's consensus. It's like, yeah, the actor is, is great, but... Why aren't you staying yeah, true to the source like a, material? It looks like a CW show, but like worse. Yeah, I mean there Which hasn't really cool. been a great Resident Evil adaption though. So. Yeah, it really hasn't. No, I mean they they managed to keep Mila Jovovich working. Yeah, I know that's not how you say yeah. the name. Yeah, uh, she did like five or six. Oh God, movies, eight. right? Yeah, Man, yeah, because wasn't there? It was like that ended in Raccoon City. Like that was like the last one. I can't remember. The animated ones Something are like good. Something like that? Yeah, the animated ones are, are good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, live action never hit. No. Yeah, I, I, I had but such high hopes. There too. won't be a, a true Resident Evil film, though, until Chris Redfield punches a boulder yeah. like he did in Resident <laughs> Evil 5. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's still my favorite Resident Evil moment. It's like Chris, uh, his face is a boulder. He just whacks it a couple of times. I'm going to try to find a gift for that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and try to put it here. It's so ridiculous. Actually, like, do you remember gifts? <laughs> gifts yeah. aren't even really a thing anymore. I yeah, like. they are. What are you talking about? I, I can't find a good gift to save my life. No. 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 You're no. looking in the wrong place, Up then. Up your gift game. Maybe. Yep. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, Back they, to Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah. No, um... Yeah, I'm not quite sure how the last game did as well, like in terms of sales. or A lot of people were disappointed that the giant lady is only like in the first part of the game. Yeah, she – Yeah. <laughs> I've already sworn once, so I might as well keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah, she started a lot of shit. I don't – there, there was, there was some interesting – Like just her existence? Like it yeah. caused a lot of noise on online. It was yeah. weird. It's yeah. like, oh, there's a lot of like simping for her. Yeah, step on me, mommy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It was, <laughs> just, it, was just, it was just, it was really strange. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like that was, okay. I thought you, I thought you were meaning like she was causing like drama or whatever, but yeah, like well, the just, amount of people there, I there saw simping really, for her was like um, insane. I wouldn't call it. There's some really inspired artwork. I yeah. Guess, that was produced yes. by the fan community. The thing well, was, she was I featured don't... so much in like the previews and everything. I think everyone thought she was going to be like, uh, like Mr. X, uh, like the, the, oh, kind of, okay. the kind of the stalker characters mm. from Resident Evil Two and Three. Uh, okay, so they so they just kind of thought that she was going to have more of a role, and they're more upset about that kind of thing. Well, she's, that, she's got fans, that's for she's sure. She's got fans. She's well, yeah. Yeah, maybe only fans. Yeah, yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've actually seen like on Check TikTok on and stuff like cosplayers. There's like a lot of people who have like really attached themselves to that character. Like, there's people that are, like, walking around dressed up like her and stuff, too. Like, already. Yeah. So. Well, she certainly inspired a few people, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure if Tumblr was still allowed to do what it was used to, able to, to do. Sorry, my headphones are popping out here. Okay. <laughs> Pop. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure if she came out when uh, Tumblr was at its peak, uh, it would be a, oh, man. a maelstrom of. For sure. I content. guarantee you there's other I'm, sites I'm sure that you that can find the, that kind of stuff. Yeah, there, that content is probably out there. We don't think Oh, for sure. That. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Internet. Yeah. God bless you. And uh, well, aside from my kind of mystery thing that I'm going to talk about. Oh, that's, uh, are we getting into that already? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's kind of my kind of media no- news that I had. Nice. So uh, okay. if nice. someone wants to jump in with something else, um, do it. I don't really think I got anything for – current events really yeah i don't i don't either i was just more so focused on like our random topics we'd bring in all right, so, all right let's, let's keep the show going let's do it what do, do you it get? live 
We'll do it live. <laughs> That's a that's a Bill O'Reilly reference <laughs> for those for not you, in so? a, you, for you youngsters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for the kids. The youngins. Yep. Those, th- <laughs> those, little, those pests that won't get off my lawn. Yeah. Get off my lawn. Y'all are really aging yourself right here. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I'm old. Yeah. I got I got gray, old gray cool, in my man. beard, yeah. It's fun. I like getting old. Yeah. Get to okay. We're getting away. Yeah. Okay. okay. Who's got a topic? We're trying to stay focused on the episode yep. where we have no topics yep. at all. <laughs> please, please give me a topic. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. You're trashing a hotel room. Yep. What song is playing? What song is playing? Ooh. We're not going to take it. Ooh, Twisted Sister. Yeah. Okay. I would say "Come On" by the Hives. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna go. Uh, Killing in the name. Rage Against the Machine. Nice. Uh, Where did that come from? <laughs> it's just the question or the answer? That, yeah. I don't know. I, I knew we didn't have a topic to talk about, so I was yeah. just thinking of random stuff. That, that's fine. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh, we're doing, ooh, or Ace of Spades. That'd Ace be a of good Spades, one. yeah. Uh, oh, that'd be a good one. I think uh, there's a song by John Sykes, I think, uh, called Enter the Arena. Uh, yeah. That's a good one. I'll look it up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really good. Um, it was actually featured say- in an anime once. Um, anyway. Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, comment section. We need your help. Yep. If you're trashing in a hotel room. What What are you playing? Yeah, what's what? What's your soundtrack? Yep. Freebird would be good. Also, That's why are you trashing the hotel? Uh, it's what you do. Yeah. I mean, don't. I'm not encouraging. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, don't. Don't encourage Pre- that. Pretend that you're on the road with Ozzy. Yeah, it's yeah. the 70s. Yeah. yeah. You're under influences. Yep. And this is, I'd also say another good song for that, though, would be Shipping Out to Boston by the Dropkick Murphys. Oh, anything by that the Dropkick Murphys. That song always gets Murphys. me hyped. <laughs> yeah. I like I'd, I'd, transplant, I'd, I'd transplant that from the hotel room to the bar, the pub, the local. Yep. Trash oh, yeah, that too. Yep. Everyone's drunk. <laughs> Fists are flying. If, if you're watching the Dropkick Murphys, then yes. Yeah. 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 It's, it's in Boston, of course. Yep. Because... Because you've been shipped up there. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was my yeah. random topic list. No, that's, topic. That's, no, that's fine. They'll give us some, right. our viewers some insight into our psyche. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Rachel, you yeah, have some? Yeah, who's next? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, actually, I was talking to Mike before the podcast about this, but I've been recently watching uh, the new Amazon Prime show called uh, Panic. And if you haven't seen the trailer for it or haven't watched it yet, I would highly suggest it. But, like, basically the the synopsis of it is these graduates, like, every year, it's like they play this game called Panic. And it's like they pay in throughout the year. And then once they graduate, they all compete for, I think it's like a $30,000 prize to, like, get themselves out of this, like, really crappy town. Because it's one of those, like, hometowns where you basically either get out or you get sucked in and you're just stuck there for the rest of your life. But it got me thinking, like... Would you guys ever like participate in something like that? Uh, like, would you ever? Would you be oh. down to do like these crazy challenges to get like prize money to like leave your hometown forever? Hollywood loves crapping on small towns. Yeah, they do. Like, they do. We live in a small town. Small towns are great. <laughs> yep, they get there. I think know. it depends on it depends on the small town. That, that's true. for oh, sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's there's true. I'm sure there's bad towns yeah. out there, but Hollywood just loves crapping on small towns, and I don't get it. Yep. Well, mm, I, I, I do don't get think it. So. I see. I see their motivation. It's yeah. I would I would disagree with that because there's tons of movies out there where they do the whole like a small town suburbia where it's like constantly positive and like happy and all that kind of stuff too. It's just in this case they decided like to take it where it was like the crappiest town you could ever live in. So the question's yeah, would you would I accept $30,000 to move? If you would do No, no, no. Like, 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 like would you do the challenges and stuff that they're making these kids do? Like for example, there's like um different challenges they do like jumping off like like cliff diving and having to be like jump off far enough where you don't hit the rocks and you hit the water kind of thing just like stupid shit like that i do that for free really <laughs> yeah for me for I, I already do that and i yeah. do not get paid for it yeah so yeah, okay. i'm feeling kind of ripped off right now yeah oh. well no like i don't know like i think it's crazy like i don't know if i'd ever be so desperate to leave a town that I would risk my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. That begs the question. Well, aren't you risking your life? Anyhow. 
What if you have change no can be dangerous? Change can be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So thumbs no, up, small I, towns. Yeah. Uh, if someone's gonna give you thirty grand to jump off a cliff into like a creek or a river, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, boom. Yep. That that, that could but be no. a job. But but no, like the whole thing about it though is that they're competing with their other classmates, right? Because there's only one winner at the end. I'm in a class on my own, so I'm, I'm good. There right. Go. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. I'm too old. I haven't been to school for years. Yeah. What what is the school? <laughs> This is the school you think of. With their yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. Their TikToks. Yeah. Uh yeah, no, I um I don't know. Is the town it, that bad? Yeah. I haven't seen it. Depends apparently on, so. Depends on the challenges too, like what they're asking. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm not like gonna eat a Tide stuff, Pod. Like throughout yeah. the show and stuff, it's like basically like the cops have to get involved because I guess the year before, um what happened was like two of the people who were competing ended up dying because of the game. So it's like not only are they risking their lives, the co- like they're trying not to get caught by the cops, and they're also, you know, just trying to prove a point that it's like, hey, like I can get out of this town if I win this money, kind of thing. Hmm. So it's, it's pretty intense. Yeah, I might check it out. I was I would suggest it. Also, fun fact: I didn't realize this until like I was watching the show, but uh, Jack Nicholson's son is actually acting in it. He plays um, Ray. He's like this bad boy. He's like the trailer park trash kind of guy but you see that he's like a good guy over time really good character arc but yeah it was crazy finding out that jack nicholson's son existed i had no idea he had kids jack nicholson it's a of that thing to say. it's like uh <laughs> kurt russell's kids acting now yeah. yeah clint eastwood's kids acting now tom hanks son is he colin hanks yep oh that's right yeah yeah uh, yeah but i I don't is know. It, I feel uh, like it's it's interesting to see it, right? Because yeah. it's like Colin Hanks was like acting for a long time, whereas like these guys are like just up and coming. Yeah. Right. I don't know. It'll somewhere. be interesting to see if they can take over like their, I guess, family legacy. Yeah. Would be the best way to describe well, I, it. I guess they have it a little bit easier, like you know, they yeah. have all the connections. There's a little bit of <laughs> right. <laughs> Speaking probably of which, some what, nepotism. What, whatever on. happened to Will Smith's kid? <laughs> which one? <laughs> Uh, like, are you talking about Willow or Jaden? Uh, Jaden. Uh, he. I think he's rapping now, isn't he? Is he or he's doing, he's doing music? Oh yeah. I think he stopped doing those weird tweets where he's trying to be oh, all yeah. deep and philosophical, and he's really just how are mirrors real if our eyes, eyes are? Yeah, and stuff like, like that. What? Yeah. Are you talking about, kid? <laughs> and I, I, I get it. I kind of went through like that weird, like, oh, what is reality kind of phase when I was young, about yeah. that age. Speaking but of, I think. I think everybody yeah, did, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you're you trying to, like, look for a deeper meaning, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. I would, I do not envy, like, growing up in the limelight. Could you imagine going through all of your, like, phases and, like, changing as a person and also having, like, the entire world watch you? Like, that's that's a lot of pressure. There's actually... I don't, uh, I don't think the world was watching him. He was just kind of shoving himself into the world. Yeah, and or, people his, were or his father Well, no, was, but, like, like but think yeah. about it, though. It's like your dad's Will Smith, and it's like... You're trying to follow in his footsteps because he did try acting for quite a long time. Yeah, I didn't and it's like people were yeah, always well. like just critiquing him, like no matter what. And it's like no wonder the guy kind of went like, "Okay, f this, I'm going to do what was, I want." It was so, forced, and then started doing though. all that think, weird stuff, right? I think that's like I feel what like he was. he definitely had like a hell of a time. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a web series, uh, a YouTube series, actually. Now it's done by the girl who played Blossom. Oh, uh, I can. Uh, I, oh, I, okay. Maya Bla- I, yeah, I, I, can, I, know I can't say her, right. her name, but uh, uh, she's done like interviews with like other child actors and stuff, kind of about because she she actually has like an MD in psychology or something. Yeah, like she went to think Harvard. Yeah, yeah like she's a, she's a smart cookie, but like yeah. she's talked to like other child actors about kind of growing up in that environment and it's how it's tough. Yeah, it's gotta be tough. I, I can't even imagine. Like, yeah, uh, she had, had I would, a no uh, way. great interview with uh, Will Wheaton. Wesley from uh, Star Will Trek. Wheaton. Will Wheaton. <laughs> um, yeah, that that was pretty good. I recommend that though. Like, uh, if you if you can figure out what her name is, <laughs> look her up on YouTube. It's yeah, something like, akin yeah. to well, Mayim Blaylick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, the, I remember seeing some, something about her interviewing Drew Barrymore it. too. Yeah. And like she had some like really big insights in it too, right? But like, yeah, I could not imagine being famous and having to like awkwardly grow up in front of a camera. Yeah. Like. And of course, F there's that. all these stories about like, 
you know, your parents like taking your money and stuff like that. Oh and, yeah. Like, uh, Macaulay Culkin. My God. Yeah. That dude went through it, the ringer. Yeah. Yeah. It was the same thing with the Olsen twins. Like their parents, like were using their money. They, to the point where I think they like, I can't remember what it's called, but you divorce your parents basically. Yeah. Yeah. Macaulay Culkin did that. I, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Like, could you imagine like you have to like ditch your parents because they're more worried about the money you're making versus you. Yeah. Like that's harsh. Some people are scumbags. Yep. yep. True. True story. Um, they still are. I mean, toddlers and tiaras. Have you seen that show? Is, is that still I, going oh on? I hope not. Yeah, I, hope I don't not know. Either. But like, that's so um, creepy. I don't. I don't think it's as big as it used to be. But I remember, like, yeah, really? I, I remember watching a few episodes of it and just being like, kind of like, oh my god, like, why are you putting your toddler through this? And then it's like, I think a few of them ended up like spinning off and getting their own series on TLC too. Like, yeah, like, um, no kid, uh, Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, there we go. Was yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, I think and it's like everybody's obsessed TV with their lives. It's like, it's, it's nuts. Because pe- so. people are basically posting their lives on the internet anyway. Yeah, so. yeah you don't really need a, yeah. you don't a, really need reality a television, TV. television station. Like those, those crazy like Ice Road Trucker shows are still on the go though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Man, yeah, I haven't, I haven't well, watched like scheduled TV or appointment TV in so long. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't either. It, it's uh, it's crazy, like uh, to watch like TVs because there's so many commercials. Like it's <sighs> and channels. It's wild. Yeah, yeah. Like last time I stayed at a hotel, and here, like, here we are poisoning the well. Yeah, <laughs> come on over to the internet hey, where there's hey, even more irrelevant. Hey, me undies. <laughs> like seriously, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. me undies. Yeah. <laughs> what up, me undies? <laughs> I'm sure if we I mean, say that sounded kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. What up, me undies? I'm new. No, town. don't do that. that that's a different yeah. type of channel. What up? Yeah, that's not this uh, channel. That's the <laughs> media minute after hours. Oh God! Retro Diaries. Yeah, uh, two point <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, watching like because I, I watched like a a TV show like just on cable or not cable but satellite or whatever it is now. Yeah. And it was weird because it's like it's almost like it says it's a thirty minute show, but then you end up watching it. It's like it almost feels like fifteen minutes of show and yeah, then fifteen minutes of oh, commercials. Totally. You right? get like twenty minutes of content. Yeah. And then you get but like Gillette nuts. ads. Like the only thing keeping like terrestrial TV alive right now is sports. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. And maybe the, like the HBOs and the showcases, they're probably kind of yeah. I would like say life I would say those help quite a bit, but like they still have their own streaming channels too, yeah. right? Even, like you absolutely. can still get yeah. HBO Max or like any of those channels like live. Like Discovery has one coming, or like they have one. It's like Discovery Plus or something. It didn't Discovery like, buy someone? There's, there's like this mm-hmm. weird new series. So. It's like Discovery Plus, like NBC or something now. What? Yeah, yeah something like that. So yeah. the hell is this? Discovery and M- M- NBC have to do I, each other. I don't know. Everybody's buying yeah. everybody out. So yeah, like uh, I, I, we're gonna get to the hide point your kids, where like hide your wife. Yeah, <laughs> you're buying everybody out here. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, though, joke. Cause, like weren't we talking about last episode how like Amazon just bought MGM? They bought MGM. Yeah, yeah, yeah they bulked up. Right. Yeah. So it's like Disney has Fox. Like it, I'm not gonna be surprised if there's gonna be like two massive like comfort just like a handful of companies that just own all of these other studios right i don't know if it's a good thing yeah like becoming this giant conglomerate right like it's it's a little scary when it comes mm-hmm. to thinking about content everything is going to be owned by either pepsi or coke or disney. basically yeah. yeah disney and yeah. china pretty much google yeah yeah like disney's going to own everything in the end i think so, if like i if i had to put like a dog in the fight it's disney 100 percent. so to anyone who watches this on bit shoot Thank you. Yes. We appreciate you, you yes. and we love you. We do. We really do. I'm not being yeah. sarcastic or hyperbolic. No. Like, like we s- when we see those bitch you views, like me and Chris are like, hey. <laughs> yeah. We're basically high-fiving each other. It's always anymore. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks, guys. Yeah. We, Tell your friends. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. It's kind of cool that knowing that anyone at all is willing to sit down and watch this. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Or listen to it. <laughs> yeah. or, or put us in the background where you're washing your dishes or yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah. I mean. Like it's, 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 yeah, it's still laundry. appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. That's, sorry, I, sorry, I kind of no, derailed fine. the momentum there. <laughs> well, <laughs> us get derailed? No. Yeah, that's never happened before. No. Go off topic? <sighs> yeah. No, we're professional <laughs> over here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Sorry, I, just wanted I, feel like that, I feel like that should be a tagline for us. It's just we're professionals. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to all of our bitch viewers. Yeah, for sure. For we don't sure. got a lot, but we got some. Yeah. Thank and you. I appreciate well, it's it. The same, it's the same thing with our YouTube viewers too, right? Yep. Yeah. Like, so... <gasps> I think very much could, appreciated. I think it's safe to mention. We have a dedicated uh, Media Minute YouTube channel. Yep. Separate from the one you, if you subscribe to Chet TV. Yep. 
We got our own. Yep. But that is us. It's not somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Ourselves. Yeah. Yep. yeah it's not a. <laughs> it's not a. Uh, what's it called? Like a mirror. Yeah. Or... Bam. But uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, media minute. Two separate words. Yep. So uh, yeah, go uh, subscribe over there. Yeah. There won't be anything yeah. else on on that channel except yeah. for media minute episodes. Yeah. It just it just makes it easier, especially for me when I'm uploading stuff. Yeah. So, uh, okay. No, not yep. just that, but if you feel like uh, just binge watching media minutes, then you can do it that way. All right. I think that's enough plugging for one day. <laughs> All right. Back to the episode. Right? Back to the episode. All right. Yep. I, I just wanted to get that. I, out I don't know what we were talking about anyway. I totally forgot. Oh, I was, I'm sorry. I, I kind of went on a tangent about uh, uh, studios getting bought up and like oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. that kind of worry. Yeah. Yeah. That is I, it is concerning. The, I don't the know. The same hands in the pot for like every. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. I'm just worried we're going to lose origina- like originality. Right? Like, everybody's going to try and copy the next guy, right? Because, like, like, I mean, remember... like, for, if you look at, like, certain movie studios, it's like MGM has, like, all of James Bond, and then it's, like, Amazon buying them and stuff. It's like, does that mean, like, James Bond is going to be, like, promoting Amazon in, like, the next, like, Bond movie? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Well, same with the uh, music, too. Like, I remember in the, the 90s yeah. were, like, independent label music labels. We're like a big thing, like yeah, like Def Jux, yeah. Skint, yeah. uh, Sub Pop, like it was a great thing. That they were taking, they were kind of anti-mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Not that like you know sometimes mainstream stuff is good. But, Comic books but, as well, sure. like in the nineties. Yeah, they there, made there was like a bunch of independent image. Yeah, image came out in the nineties. Yep, a Dark yep. Horse, I think. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think they started in the nineties. I could be wrong about Dark could, Horse. They could be earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I miss that kind like, of uh, that yeah, DIY yeah, kind underground, of aesthetic. Uh, underground comic scene. Uh, yeah. Like, there are still people doing, like, Kickstarters and stuff for... Oh, for sure. Uh, That's true. But, it, like, it's hard to, f- like, find the information on who's doing what because, like, yeah. the big sites aren't, like, covering the smaller guys. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, like, scary. everybody's so focused on, like, the big guy that, like, the little guy could have, like, the next Harry Potter or... Uh, like Marvel Comics or anything like that. And it's like nobody's focusing on them because like these massive companies are like, hey, look at us. Like we have like the 20th Star Wars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I feel like the originality of content creation is like completely dissipating. And it's it's really disheartening. Yeah. And people try to go for like the kind of most accessible monetization yeah. for stuff. So. And like, Especially and I now understand since that like too. content is so available. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's like, I, like I understand like – so someone go. <laughs> that, was, that was in my sense. It's, it's like a, it's like crabs in a bucket. Yeah. Like they, yeah. You get one crab trying to get out of the bucket, and then just for some reason, all the other crabs will pull him down while still trying to get out at the same. T- yeah. There's a song about it yeah. by Chaos. <laughs> and yep, it's a wicked song. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't make up that metaphor. Like it's a real no. thing. Yeah. Having like, that's spent thing, a lot though, of time with like... crabs. <laughs> in a bucket. Not that crab. Good. <laughs> go ahead, Rachel. Okay. Uh, but no, like, that's a, the that's a thing that I was kind of concerned about, right? Is, like, I understand that, like, you need to make money. You need to make sure that, like, what you're putting your money into is profiting. But I feel like if we're going to do everything the same, like, everybody's going to do the next animated princess movie or the next Star Wars or the next Star Trek or anything like that, it's, like, we're just going to get to a point where everything, no matter what channel you go on, it's, like, it's the same thing as the next guy. Well, it's, you know, and a lot of these big studios, I think I mentioned this like last time, they, they're just recycling old stuff yeah. at this. I mean, that's, that's happening with Masters of the Universe. But to be fair, it's been 20 years since like the last He-Man show. Yeah, they haven't been yeah, milking no, it for, for sure. decades. Yeah. Right. And it's like it's the same thing with um, the live action Disney movies like Lion King. Yeah. Did you really need to CGI Lion King? You just reanimated it again. <laughs> You used the same storyline, you just had different actors. Yep. Right? And it's like, I don't there know. Was I just feel like <laughs> I can't voice actors, wait to I go into a movie theater where it's like not everything's the same. It's not like Star Wars Part 20 or Fast and Furious, like they go to the moon or like something <laughs> like that. Like I, I miss the seeing like going down like the cinema, like going into your movie theater and seeing different movies in different places. It's not just the same thing with a different title, you know? I kind of I don't know. I don't know if it's ironic, but like th- that independent stuff seems to be ending up on the streaming services now. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I saw one I think I, I I mean, it was kind of a spin on a kind of a quiet place. Yeah. Sort of. Uh but it's, okay. it's on Netflix. It's a not like blockbuster budget. 
lower, like you know, lower budget. Like yeah, I mean, sure, that's fine. I mean, making any movie costs some money, but yeah, it's called a uh, Awake. Oh uh, yeah, I think I've seen the previous. Uh, one. Oh, yep, yeah. I watched that one actually. Yeah, it's pretty good, and I, I enjoyed it. Like yeah. it, it's oh, uh, in case you you don't know, uh, it's basically about this event happens, and all of a sudden, no one can fall asleep, except for this like one child. So it's kind of like children and men, but just yeah, sleep instead of pregnancy. Yeah, it's super but, interesting. But, it's definitely a good watch. Yeah, I think it was really well done. It seems like the original stuff too is coming out of like Europe. Like you know, there's like Korea, yeah. Korea, or too. Korea, yeah, um, Korea. Keep an eye on them. What there. was it? Dark. Uh, dark. It was, was yeah. Dark was Germany. Dark, yeah. dark was Germany, and there's like yep. uh, was it? Was it Germany? You guys, yeah, it was. you guys mentioned one to me uh, about uh, trolls or something. Nord Scott, I think I'm <coughs> probably yeah. not saying that right, but I yeah. I still can't find it anywhere. I'm so upset because yeah, like I honestly right? fell in love with that that story. Yeah, because it was on Shutter. We got like the first yeah. season, and then just and then it, we got ghosted. Just, boop, just yeah. ghosted. Just gone. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Just gone. It's a terrible feeling. I want to see but, more. Like, that's but the thing. I can't move to Sweden and watch it. Yeah, maybe. Like, yeah, why this, are you going to Sweden? I need to know how the sense. VPN sponsor <laughs> yeah. if we had one. <laughs> uh, I tried to do the uh, the whole typical YouTube pitch for that. I yeah, couldn't do it. Yeah. I'll practice. Like, maybe, maybe next episode. Yeah. I guess like if you're if you're looking on the flip side of streaming channels and stuff too, is like we have so much access to like foreign like media now. Like before, it's like yeah, you could there, unless like somebody brought it to like North America, it's like you didn't really see any like Japanese shows or um, German shows or anything like that, right? So it's like, that's kind of cool that well, like the streaming what, sites are being able to do that. What do you mean by sh like television shows or movies too? Like what? All of it. Just all of the media. Uh, a, a lot of I don't know. what would happen with the foreign things though is that they would be remade for a North American oh, audience. Oh, I hate when they do that. Yeah, yeah right? It's uh, like, like I, I, when I was living in Toronto, yeah. like there was a lot of video stores that had tons of foreign films. Yeah. See, like, like I, half I never story. saw that growing up. Yeah. Well, I guess it's a geography thing. Like, if you're not in a Maybe. city, it's probably not as, as well, well it, it was. In yeah. terms of foreign media as well, apparently in comics, uh, like Western comics are just getting dominated by manga right now. Oh, like yep. mangas, like yeah, the Japanese latest, comics. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the, yeah. but they're they're beaten. They're yeah, they're like completely outselling like. I, I think there was one series okay. that completely old outsold the com like the entire Western market. I believe that. Yeah. Well, because yeah, sure. like Marvel is just they 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 dip they, they dip their toes into like identity politics and yeah every like new character or new series they release I just, they just get roasted online. Yeah. It's like hey. There's a yeah, and like I. I low key understand like with the identity politics and like that kind of stuff. It's like why they have to do that because well, it's like they don't have to, but they with, chose to. Well, yeah. no, but at the same time, it's like if they don't do it, it's like they know they'll lose viewership, right? So it's like I feel like well, they're almost pushed into a corner no, to a certain to are, a certain extent for sure. They are doing it, and that's what's causing them to lose viewership. Yeah, like it's backfiring on them bad. Like they basically turn their back on like their traditional. Yeah, it's like customer base. Oh, yeah, and then there's just like here's some identity no, politics. No, I, I get that, yeah. people, but I also understand like where they're coming from too, right? No, so, but they're, I I feel like. Sorry, what? But oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's like no, like people like their core audience, the ones who actually go in and buy like the weeklies and, and they buy and the shelf poles. Yeah, they like, buy the toys and they buy yeah, like, like they don't care and stuff. about identity politics and SJW no. stuff. Like I said, like, it go, goes back to watch wanting to watch the muscly man punch the skeleton yeah, man. Like, you don't gotta exactly. Yeah. You don't got to shoehorn just And, and that's what, like, the Japanese ma manga thing is bringing. Yeah. It's, like, it's just kind of fun escapist stories. Exactly. That's all yeah. you want. Yeah. No, and, like, I totally agree. Like, I think that, like, when it comes to identity politics, we've gotten to a point where I don't know if we can go back from this. Yeah. Like, I would Something's like to think give. we could, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I think you'll, you might see some, like, independents come up. It seems to be what's yeah. happening now. Yeah, kind of. Uh, there's peaks and valleys. It kind of. Yeah. This isn't the first time like politics has uh, inserted itself into entertainment for sure. Yeah. So. I can't wait until we get back to the point where entertainment is just entertainment. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't have to worry. I just want to hear a good story. I just yeah. want to watch something cool. I don't care about like. I don't know. Like I don't. Well, it's like I, don't need to be beat I think over that's part of the reason. Yeah. State of feminism. Yeah. Stuff. It's like. Well, it's like I. I, I think. 
one of my favorite things about like uh quentin tarantino and uh del toro and stuff like that they're not focused on what's happening in the outside world they're not worried about what like is happening in different political spheres or like identity spheres they're more worried about how their story can make people come into their world and like just kind of not be in reality for a while yep you know what i mean like i don't think i've ever seen tarantino like back down when somebody says oh you're like not like not enough of a feminist or whatever. It's like, have you ever watched a Tarantino movie? Yeah, can you imagine if he made like a movie about Donald Trump? No one would watch that. Yeah. Oh. But like, so like that's that the kind of cool thing. That's what movies and like TV shows and books and comics are supposed to do. They're supposed to take you away from what's going on in your current life and like transport you into an adventure. Yep. And that's right? what people are looking for. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You're going to complicate yeah. those things. Yep. Yeah, like, literally, muscle man versus skeleton. Yeah, that's man. all we that, need. That's, that's it. it. It's that's simple. It. Yeah. It's so simple. Well, yeah. like, what was it? Like, I remember when uh, The Dark Tower came out and people were, like, livid that um, Idris Elba was going to play the gunslinger. But it's like, at the Why time, Idris Elba was a huge actor. The biggest reason that they got him was because they knew he'd put butts in seats. And he was also, he's also an incredible actor, too. Why were people mad right? so, like. That? They were mad because um, he was black. In the book, like, in the series of, like, the gunslinger, like, the Dark Tower, it's, like, he's described as almost like a, a Clint Eastwood kind of character. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't... Okay, so there... What? Where's the problem? Yeah, so... <laughs> the, the people... There it? was a lot of people who were giving backlash because they thought... Oh, that he should have been, like, a you know, old, it's, old it's grizzled the white West, dude? Yeah, it's the Wesker issue. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. But like I like, yeah. like for me, it's like I understand like because I've I've also read the books and stuff. But it's like he's just he's just played the character. That's all he's doing. Like I don't understand why people got so upset about it. Hey, because I think like <laughs> I love you. Say again, sorry. I just have to address the internet real quick. Okay. I love you, internet, but I f- hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep time. that one out. Yeah. All right. On, it won't be bleeped out on BitChute. No. You guys get the extra swears. Yeah, more swearing on bitching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about what you Yeah, like, no, it's all good. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I don't feel like we should, like, limit somebody just because it's, like, they don't fit the character. You know what I mean? Like, with people getting mad about uh, the possible remake of The Little Mermaid and how it's going to be, um, there's, like, a singer that they got. And she's an incredible singer, and they were mad because she was black. And it was like, yeah, but so what? Like. She fits the part. That's why she got the part. Aren't aren't mermaids white? I don't know. It's just it's brutal. I thought mermaids were white. I'm sick of it. They're not real. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's the thing. Like it's like that. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah, it's all it's, it's all I, so I, convoluted. I, 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 yeah. yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Um, who, like who really cares about this stuff? Other than like online bloggers. Oh yeah, a lot of people. Will, like for oh, some yeah, like, for some reason. Do you have? You have that much time on your hands? Like, like maybe get a hobby. Yeah, like if casting choices Instead of, like, are angrily ruining your tweeting day, about yeah. how mad you are about a casting choice. Like, come on. Like, yeah. Oh God, yeah, you need you need to. I don't, I don't know what you need. I don't know what you need to do, but there's more important things in life than casting choices. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come like on uh, if, if that ruins get, a piece of media for you, then yeah, like, that, that's your problem. Yeah. yeah like maybe yeah, cancel you, you your get subscription. Some stuff to figure yeah. out. Yeah. Oh boy! Well, that was a weird rant. We yeah. almost got into politics and yeah, kind of. I think sort of a little bit. Edge, yeah, a little bit. We kind of went all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> um, boy. Uh, yeah. Are we? Oh, I oh, are, are we stuck? Uh, are we, did we hit a pothole? I I got. Uh, I still have my. Mystery I think thing. Mike's got some. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got more. Things. I, I, I I'm gonna tell you about a an anime series. Thanks. Cool. There's no space wars in space in this one. What? It's, what? Yeah, it's Air Wars in the Desert. Uh, it's basically... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like it. It's called Area 888. Uh, came out... Uh, the manga came out between, like, 1979 and 1986, I think. Nice. Okay. And that was a good... That was a good... Uh, the 80s was a good year for... Or decade for uh, anime. It was, yeah. 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 Um, basically, the story is there's this uh, guy. He's a, he's a pilot. And his buddy gets him drunk and makes him sign like a contract for like a mercenary air force. So it sounds like it could be based in reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, drunk pilot, check. Yeah, bribes, check. 
<laughs> yeah, like his buddy wants to get rid of him because uh, the main character is set up to marry like the the daughter of this like uh, CEO of a of an airline or something like that. So his buddy wants to get rid of him, so he, he like drunkenly gets him to sign up for this mercenary air force. So uh, basically, what the story is is that uh, this guy is trying to like he he flies fighter jets. Nice. So nice. yeah, it, it's a fighter jet show. If you if you like fighter jets. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah. Come on. I mean, if you grew up in the 80s, you probably... Yeah. If, if you know what yeah. an F-14 is... Yeah. There's an F-14 in it, by the way. Nice. And an A-10. Well, I mean, it's the 80s. Yeah. So there's got to be... It's basically jet porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I'm telling the truth, it's jet porn. Rocket uh, fuel. Yeah. But anyway, this guy, uh, you get sent to like this... Uh, it's a fictional country, but there's like this war going on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he gets paid for like every jet he shoots in, every tank he takes out and stuff okay. like that. But uh, so he wants to get back to... Well, he's Japanese. It's, it's a manga. So yeah. he, he wants to get back to Japan. But to do that, he either has to completely serve out his three-year contract or earn uh, a million and a half. So... Uh, the story's about him just basically trying to survive, like, in this, this war place where he, he has to, like, shoot down people and stuff. And, like I said, it's jet porn. There's MiGs and, you know. <laughs> and it wasn't popular? Uh, I it, it did get adapted a couple of times. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it's I, – I don't think the kids know about it. It's not, not getting the love it deserves? I, I think it deserves love again. Um, there was a uh, – Kind of like a three episode thing that came out in the eighties, uh, an animated version of it, and then they did another series back in two thousand four. Uh, it's like twelve episodes, so nice. I recommend checking it out. The two thousand four series they have a trance soundtrack for it, and it nice. works surprisingly well. Two thousand and four trance. Two thousand and four nice. trance plus like animated like nineteen eighties aircraft. Oh, it would be amazing if they got Tom Cruise to voice one of the characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just has like a maybe. And, so and, and like, don't even credit him. He just kind of sneaks in, just does like a Top Gun film <laughs> and just bounces. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, if you're looking for kind of a high action uh, anime or if you're looking for something like that's not the standard young boy trying to save the world thing. Like this is kind of grounded it in reality. Like you nice. said, it's something that could happen. Yeah. It's, it's real fighter jets. Yeah. Uh, the, the only thing fictional about it is this country that's under conflict yeah. that hires these uh, mercenaries. So, And where can we find cool. this anime? E- search online. <laughs> Crunchyroll? Netflix? What are we talking about? Um, I'm, not sure, YouTube? I'm not sure where it's officially carried. Um, I have okay. seen episodes of it on YouTube, though. All right, so uh, yeah. p- pirate off YouTube. <laughs> there you I go. like it. <laughs> okay, I got an obscure yeah. uh, animation. Sure. It's uh, from, I believe, the 70s. It's called Fantastic Planet. Ah, yeah. It's a French movie. Ooh. I've heard of it. It's really hard to describe, but I, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yep. Uh, these, like, giant blue aliens basically have, like, human children as pets. Okay. And they have these weird, like, little, like, things on their head. Where, or No, it's, 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 it's a collar. And they can, like, drag them around, like, remotely. That's weird. And then... It's 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 French. It's it very, very avant garde. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't encourage drug use, but it seems like that would might aid in the experience. You find yourself in that situation and you're looking for something to watch. Yeah, probably a pretty good option. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe. but yeah. And then like the aliens, they they. I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. But, like, the alien, like, overlords, like, meditate, and their souls leave their bodies and the planet. <laughs> okay. And that's when, like, all, like, the little human pets plan their revolt. That sounds neat. Yeah. Yeah. This, it is, this is crazy. Yeah. It's a really good movie. And the animation style is, like, just – you've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Si- before or since. Like, 70s animations, trippy enough as it is. Yeah, like, you got – Yeah. You know, the heavy metal and – Yeah. Oh, oh, speaking of heavy metal, there was some controversy with heavy metal. What? Yeah. Now, like oh? re- recently? Yeah. What? Yeah. The uh, Ralph, Ralph Bakshi has been pretty quiet. Well, you, you know, like the the uh, the woman that's on the front of the heavy metal like box, yeah. like the poster. Basically the prototype for Pamela Anderson? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Apparently they've changed her outfit, so it'd be a little bit more conservative. Uh-huh. And, of course, the heavy metal fans are like, 
completely mad because like it's basically a TNA <laughs> magazine. Yeah, like heavy metal oh, is, all, sure. is all just sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> the world. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, reality, you're fucking up. <laughs> 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 That's all I gotta say about it. Like, like seriously, like yeah, there's nothing. Sacred? Yeah, that was like the last couple of weeks that uh, that happened. Apparently, they changed her outfit to cover up more of her. Like, okay, so like, when do we get to the point where like the Renaissance paintings, where there's like women with meat on their bones lying on fainting couches naked? Oh yeah, are we gonna start censoring those two? Like, it's only a matter of time. By the sounds of I it, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's it's almost weird. Is that like we're kind of almost moving back to like, uh, yeah. like a conservative, you know? It'll be, it'll be if somebody shows an ankle, it will be upsetting. Oh, no. oh we're way past conservatism. Yeah. No, they're like people are they're not trying to conserve a damn thing. No, they're trying to destroy it. Yep, and it's crazy. <laughs> like Dr. Seuss books got nuked. Yep. Like what? What Anyways, yeah, we're getting back into what, politics. What, what a world! Yeah, we're just running in circles here. Yeah. Try to keep us. Try to keep it entertaining. Yep. I don't know if we're doing a very good job today, but <laughs> we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> yep. Well, actually, All right. uh, how are we doing for? <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Yeah, it's yeah, been we're, almost we're, an hour. We're almost at an uh, This one ain't making it to TV. <laughs> no, for sure. Nope. <laughs> um. Uh, so I guess the moral of the story is destroy the sun. Yeah. Well, why not? <laughs> that's a wrap. That's a wrap, everybody. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Does anyone have something else? Because I got, I got a segment for. Uh, so that's a thing. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Actually, it should be. So what happened to that thing? Yep. Oh okay. So uh, KFC released a gaming console. Yeah. There's only about a th- right. I think there's only about a thousand ish yeah, produced. Sure. It's basically like a, a Steam. Yeah, uh, console, console and it just but in case you don't know while you're playing steam keep your chicken warm keeps your chicken warm yep i don't know how or when or at what cost i'm going to get one of these things yep but it will happen one day it will be mine one day i will be playing <laughs> diablo 2 <laughs> while my chicken <laughs> is <warm>. being warmed <laughs> uh, i i got a thing yeah, like, thing as well like a weird thing okay um, yeah, go for it. japanese wasp cookies Apparently, there's this area of Japan where they get like inundated with like these ground wasps. So, so, like, so eat them. yeah, the villagers got like so fed up with it that they started like turning them into cookies. And oh. it's not like grinding them up or anything. It's like a cookie. It's like a chocolate chip. And you can see like a bunch of wasps in the middle of it. I wonder if that was designed to like send like the so, other wasps a message. <laughs> we're, we're just <laughs> like, hey, tell your friends. Tell yeah, your friends. Yeah, right here, buddy. Yeah. yeah, but like, okay. Side note, though, because like wasps, it's like, don't they have like, because like when you get stung by them, it's like you react. So don't they have something in them, kind of thing? Like, like should you be I, eating them? I, I I'm sure once they're baked, they're probably fine. Yeah, it's probably something that neutralizes huh. the poison. Yeah. <laughs> you start eating, and there's like, suddenly there's these barbs, and yeah, they like, look bastard stung <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, these are dangerous well, cookies. Like, your your mouth well, goes like you numb. never know, right? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm wondering, like, if you were allergic to wasps and you didn't, you I don't know probably, how you would probably, miss it. Yeah, don't eat but the like, wasp would you, yeah. would you react <laughs> yeah. like a like an prank. anaphylactic, like with peanuts? Like, I, I don't know why that, I jumped to that, but um, like, no, I think the baking process huh. would probably take yeah. care of that. I'm assuming that, like, if it probably. was so, killing people, they wouldn't be allowed to make and sell these wasp cookies. So uh, I guess hey. yeah, Japan making some dangerous, potentially dangerous cookies, potentially dangerous cookies, spicy well, cookies, yeah. Interesting. Yes, yeah. they are spicy. I'd try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd try it. I'd buy a dozen. Yeah. I, I mean, a dozen? Well, th- that's I, a lot. Well, I don't, you, I don't know. Can you buy them one at a time? I think so, yeah. I feel like, yeah, if, if I feel like option, that would be the best I'd, way to go. Right, it's like, what if you I'll bought... i buy two. Yeah. Like, what if you bought a dozen, and then it was like, what? not your thing? Then yeah, you just like throw, bought... You have like 11 other cookies. I don't know. I think well, you no, buy... You got to share them with your friends. Yeah. It's like, yo, I bought these cookies that I've... Yeah. Wasps. Yeah. Them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's and, fair. You, and you would tell your friends who refuse, say, "Don't be a buzzkill." Yeah. Yeah. Ah. And then, yes. <laughs> and, then, and then no one else would but laugh, like, <laughs> and then you just kind of walk away in shame, but you'd feel good because yeah. you gave your friend a cookie. Yep. Yeah. That's how it plays out in my scenario. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, weird. Well, I mean, <laughs> Japan has a bunch of what we would consider weird food. Yeah, and it's a. Am- I love yeah. it. Yeah. Love it. 
Love you, Japan. Yep. I'm coming your way I'm, one I'm, day. I am like down to try some of the stuff, but there's other stuff like I there's no way. Yeah. You can I, buy like no. bee larvae and stuff like that. Okay, well, what's, eh, uh, no. what's what's something you wouldn't try? Bee larvae apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, well, no, but like I don't I get so concerned. I don't know. I can't think of one at the top of my head like coming from Japan, but I know in Thailand and stuff like you can go around and get like scorpions on sticks and like yep. spiders and yep. stuff like that. I just ugh, no, or I'm the, good. The live squids. Mm-mm. I think there's squid. Yeah, f- no, no, God, no. I've heard so many horror stories about that. Like, there's been people who've had, this woman ate a, a squid, and then her mouth was, like, messed up, and she didn't know why, so she went to the doctor, and the squid laid eggs in her tongue. No, it was it was uh, squid semen, and it was in her gums. That, that's it. That's it. Like, <laughs> No. <laughs> no, that, no, that correction God, did not no, make no. that story no, any that better. No, that did not make it better for sure. But yeah, that happened. That made it worse. Yeah. yeah. Thankfully, we don't got to right? worry about that on this side of the pond. Like, food standards are different. But yeah, no, that that happened. Yeah. Like, the, like the doctor had to go in there with like tweezers and just like individually pull these little <laughs> s- squid sperm. Yep. I don't know how. To, how? how, else how to put... We're here. Yeah. Hey, um, I I I don't know if I should apologize or not. But anyway, we're here. <laughs> Yeah. We're in squid sperm territory. Yep. Yeah, we are. <laughs> but but yeah, uh, that like, that's that's definitely something I would never do. Hundred percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it ain't cooked, I like well, yeah, and like, then sushi, obviously. But like, I'm not gonna eat anything that's still alive. What do you? Um, oh! It's not still alive, but would you eat horse? I probably have. No. Yeah. I'm willing you to say I probably have. have. Probably. You, we we probably okay. all have. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, probably unofficially. But, yeah, like, but yeah, like, what like, do you buy like, like a horse willingly? sandwich? Like willingly, voluntarily? Yeah, yeah, yeah once, yeah. No way. Uh, I wouldn't. I think I've had bear. I've had bison. I've had moose. Yeah. I've had venison, deer. Uh, I've had. Yeah, I've had rabbit. Yep. Yeah, horse. Hor- horse ain't safe. <laughs> you look delicious. <laughs> Terrible. That's Wait, like you what is it? That, you wouldn't like, try horse. I, I no. I think if I was like in, <laughs> why not? Because I think if I was like in a country where they ate it, yeah. Okay, so as long as you're dealing with someone who has experience in horse horse, horse, horse preparation, yeah, horse preparation. This is a That'd weird preparation episode, guys. H- H- <laughs> yeah, these these, are, these shows are getting weirder by the episode. I love it. They really yeah. are. But why wouldn't but you, like, why yeah, wouldn't no. you say horse? Like cows and a horse aren't that, <sighs> that different. No, I just I don't know. I, I don't it know. There's something it in my ma- brain. Is it's it just like, pretty? Nope. 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 Dog? Nope. No, hell no. Cat? Uh, no. Goldfish? Live? <laughs> Why? No. Oh, yeah. There's a thing in the 80s. There was a, if, you wanted, if you wanted into a fraternity, you yeah, had to eat a live eat goldfish. goldfish. Yeah. Are you? Really? I, I, I thought that I, I don't was know a movie it, thing. It could be. I don't know. Yeah. I, was, I never went to university in the 80s in the States. No. <laughs> With those I'm concerned. John Belushi, <laughs> yeah, John Belushi's hanging. Out. The Blues Brothers, just yeah, strolling through. Oh boy! But that, yeah, no to, to uh, answer your question, yes, I would try a horse. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I'd try. I think in like the Netherlands and stuff, like they still might do it. I'm not sure, <laughs> but there are areas of the world where they eat horse. There's not many. There's not many animals I wouldn't try. Yeah, to be honest, I mean. Depending That's on the concerning. situation, too. If you're like a post-apocalyptic situation, yeah. everything's on the menu. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. And I love me some menus. <laughs> <laughs> we know about that. <laughs> okay. Like, not people, though, right? Like, that's not a line. Uh, last resort. I mean, you know, you know, if you're on a soccer team and your plane you crashes, crashes in yeah. the Andes, and yeah, you don't really got many options. Alive. Great movie, by the way. It's like 30 years old now or something. Crazy. Yeah. But yeah, alive. If you haven't seen that, yeah, it's about a soccer. I think they're Chilean. I can't Argentinian. Remember. Yeah. South American soccer team crashes in the Andes. Yeah. And they got to survive, and they have to unfortunately result or resort to a uh, cannibalism. Yep. And Didn't it? That's, isn't that like a true story? Yeah. 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 yeah that happened. Yeah. Was, I, wow. I, I, if I remember correctly, like. The people who did end up getting rescued and stuff, like the therapy and stuff they had to go through afterwards. Oh, I bet. Oh, yeah. Like, it was insane. Cutting like a chunk of meat off your friend. Yeah, like that's... that's yeah. yeah. No one's no one's prepared to do that. No. There's nothing that can 
no, yeah, I, no, <laughs> yeah. yeah they, it, it's it was a last resort. Like they don't glorify it or anything in the movie. It's like, oh yeah, they're not having fun. Yeah, it's like we need the energy to walk out of here. Yeah. So, the only energy we have is yeah, alive. A lot. Yeah. It's such a good movie. Yeah. Really, I saw it in the theaters. Oh yeah. 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 That I gotta really crazy. watch that. That's so good. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of murmuring to myself at this point. <laughs> have it a. Uh, yeah, it's that, it's that type of episode. Going full Joe Bud. Yeah. <laughs> hey man. Yo. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> That's my uh, impression for the day. <laughs> that, was, that was really embarrassing, but I'm gonna leave it in. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. Yep. Yeah. Does anyone have anything else? I don't know. I think that might be uh, it for me. Uh, oh, you got something? No, I. Kind of. I don't. I don't know if I brought it up already, but like speaking of weird things, have you guys ever seen how <laughs> there's this uh, Guinness Book uh, World Records challenge where uh, they do this thing where <laughs> you have to see how many people you can like squat, and it's like apparently a thing. I saw a video of a woman doing it, and it was terrifying because you'd be picking up men about. I think Chris's size and like squatting them and so, then throwing like, them to the wayside. 200 pounds ripped as <laughs> AF. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, basically you know. Dave Batista. Yeah. But yeah. No, but like the thing that made me, that blew my mind was like, there was just these, like, just like 20 of these guys lined up, just like ready to go to get like, just lifted and just tossed. And it was just the, it was Hossed. the weirdest video <laughs> she, I think I've she ever seen. Did she throw them off after she was done? Yeah. I'm, Sorry? I'm trying to, I'm trying to picture this. Yeah. Thing. So she, like, were they on her back? Yeah, so, like, they were standing straight, right? And then I guess they'd help her by, like, kind of curling so she could pick them up by the arm side and then by the legs. And she'd stand up, squat them, and then literally throw them okay. into, like, uh, into like mats. Into and a, then a you'd pile. see them, <laughs> like, roll off screen yeah. trying to get out of the way because she's trying to do it as fast as possible. But, like, there was, like, 20 dudes just lined up. Like, all right, she's going to do it. I think she lifted, like, 14 of them. And she was just, like, boop, boop. But it was, it was the weirdest thing men. I've ever seen. I did see a... Sorry? I did see a, um, a post where... Uh, I don't know if it was a Guinness Book record, but uh, some lady, like, crushed, like, a bunch of watermelons between her thighs in, like, a record amount of time. Yeah. You don't see that? That's a thing. Yeah. I've seen that. There's some it's weird, scary. weird like Guinness records. Yeah. 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 I, I've probably seen yeah, like, some. The the funny thing about I have to assume I have. Do you know how Guinness started? Like the world records thing. It started. I hope it was a drinking game. Pretty much, like yeah. the, it was like the it's Guinness. So yeah. so I think it was like the owners of Guinness, and they they were basically trying to settle like a bar bed. Was it daring people to do stuff? Well, not daring people to do stuff, but oh, it's like, uh, you know, what's the fastest uh, English swallow or something like yeah. that? It's like they they were, it was, they were basically playing trivia at the bar. <laughs> so they made a book of official, like, records. I'm not going to lie. Like, it never clicked to me that, like, Guinness World Records was, like, Guinness beer. So, yeah. like, you just really? saying that literally just imploded my entire mind. Like, I... I Wait till you find out. Wait till wow. you find out about Michelin stars. Yeah, it's the Michelin <laughs> car company started that. Or not car company, Tire. tire company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we did we, they what? did we lose the connection or did yeah, we? Break you didn't Rachel? realize that like the Michelin star restaurants. Yeah, like the Michelin man. Yeah, like the it's the same thing. Yeah, same awesome. same company. It started with travel guides and the best restaurants to go to, and, yeah. then, and then they kind of evolved. Oh, but like There's a whole story behind how, it. Is, we're running how did you? <laughs> how did you go from the Michelin Tire Man? Well, if people were, drove to these destinations, yeah, they, they were would, making travel. They guides. would wear out their tires, and then they would buy more tires. Yeah, and then they're just like, "Hey, this restaurant's actually pretty good." Yep. So they would recommend that, and then it just kind of evolved. Really, there's probably a lot more to the story. I'm just kind of giving the Coles yeah. notes. I. Okay. All right. <laughs> Learn something new every day. So, yeah, a, a, a company that oh makes God. rubber automobile tires. Yep. So, and, uh, and the beer people make the, books. Yeah, credits. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, beer beer makes books and tires make the best food the planet has to offer. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yep. I, we need to do something like that. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Podcasts make. The Media Minute. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. know. Hotels? Sure. <laughs> I'm meeting him at a hotel. 
You can tell we're running long when we start to just wander. Yeah. I, th- I think yeah, I think we should probably wrap it up there. <laughs> yeah, this has been a weird one. Yes. This yeah. was more of an ex- experimental it, one. It was. Like, <laughs> seriously, we didn't have like a set topic for this one. So. On purpose, though. Yeah. So we just got to tell us what you think. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you, ha- you want to suggest a topic, too. Uh, yeah. Leave yeah, a, please do. Leave a comment. Yeah, so. Uh, like and subscribe. Like, click, subscribe. And I'll put that graphic right about here. Yep. Uh, right about over here. Yep. And then I'll throw the BitChute logo right about up here. Yep. There's, it won't be a link. Just, just It'll be just a logo. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, we got a, a dedicated uh, YouTube channel, just Media Minute, two separate words. Yep. You might have to change the filter yep. to uh, channels just yes. because it is, well, I just started it yesterday. <laughs> so it might be a little tricky to find, but it's there. It's there. Well, we'll get there. And uh, BitChute, Media Minute, all one word. Ring the bells, whatever you got to do. You know how to use the internet. Yeah. Come on. We believe in you. We don't got to explain this. Yeah. All right. Well, for Media Minute, I'm Michael Forward. I am Christopher John Raskowski. With a and notebook. I'm Rachel Edge. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Per- <laughs> I'm going to leave this in, but do you want to redo that? Okay. All right. <laughs> We're already <laughs> yeah. falling apart. For Media Minute, I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. I'm just Rachel Edge. Bye-bye. See ya.